Hey guys, Spicy Ninja coming at you with a brand new deck list. Uh, basically another version of Banished Sharks, also known as XYC. Um, basically it's the water version and it's working out of exceeding incredibly fast. Um, really cool uh, deck build. Um, first up on the uh, monster board, uh, through Wind Up Shark, three Needle Sunfish, three Shark Stickers, three Hammer Shark. Uh, for an engine I'm trying to use a Nimble Sunfish. Um, there's three Roller Apka. One Snow Man Eater, one Legendary Jiu Jitsu, one Marshmallow, and a Sangan. Um, the original version of this deck was hosted by Lord Lunar, otherwise known as Water Twin. Um, he had some more or less based on level 4s and level 5 Xyzes. Um, and then I saw another variant where it was level 3s and they actually used 3 um, Tour Guide um, to basically help search out the Sangan. But since Tour Guide was at 2, I was questioning its eligibility for the deck. Um, just because I kind of get that Tangu effect, just because all of a sudden I can only search for, I think, another two regard in Sangan, so it just kind of became contradictory, so that's where um, Juju and Marshmallow kind of really came in. Um, other than that, I'm still learning a lot of the strategies to the cards itself, um, especially with Wind-Up Shark, it seems really inconsistent. Um, so one of my our plans a little later on with this build and I am going to follow this up and keep like posting new stuff on it just so you guys can see like where it's going and like how it's developing um, but something I wanted to try with wind up shark is actually wind up rabbit also level 3 um, you can special summon wind up shark with it and plus he can say or keep himself safe so what I'm thinking is maybe I'll lose the jujitsu master and marshmallow for two wind up rabbits or something like that um, it really depends on like how my playtesting goes um, other than that, on to magic and trap cards. We have two Aqua Mirror Cycle, uh, one Dark Pride, one Starlight Road, two Torrential, two Bottomless, two Fish Depth Charge, one Mirror Force, one Book of Moon, one Heavy, one Pot, one Mystical Space Typhoon, one Dimensional Fissure, one Monster Reborn, and one Dark Hole. A um, couple of the card choices are, um, well, really with the Aqua Mirror Cycle. Lord Lunar's original build uses Salvage, and the other guy I was looking at, I can't remember his name, but I'll find his video and post it in the links as well. Um, but his, I believe, also used Salvage. Aquamir Suckle almost does the exact same thing, only it's two water monsters, they're not um, specific, so I could actually grab back Hammer Sharks um, at the cost of uh, water monster I control in the field, which I have to put back in my deck. But really, what I think of is because there's so many water Xyz, I could put a water Xyz back in my extra deck if they were Fiendish Chained or whatever else, and keep the two monsters, or er, and then put the other two monsters in the graveyard and keep going off of that. Um, another big choice was Starlight Road. It was not in Lunar's build, I don't believe. Um, it was in the other guys, but I really like the idea of it because of Torrential being at 2 and Force being at 2. Um, so it's just a free Stardust Dragon kind of thing and negates one of them. Um, two Torrential, that's one of those why not kind of things. Um, fish Depth Charge, uh, priority's gone, so again, it's one of those, like, plus one off of destroying one of your mods, or one of your fish. Again, just put uh, something in the graveyard. Um, one of the initial combos, what I thought it was, was either Furled Rabka or, um, Needle Sunfish. Destroy one of those two, um, Fish Depth Charge, use their effects, and then draw a guard, so it really just helps with the deck. Um, other than that, it's really just standard magic trap cards. Um, dimensional Fissure, again, just to kind of help stun out the meta kind of thing. Um, other than that, uh, we'll go into the extra deck. We got one Shark Drake, two Leviathan Dragon, one Acid Golem, one Zen Mighty, uh, one, or two String Dijon, one Black Ray Lancer, one My Stroke, one Utopia, uh, one Terabyte. One Zen Mains, one Brass Dijon, one Livier, and one Stardust. Um, card choices are pretty straightforward, like wind up stuff for wind up stuff, um, beat sticks. Um, really, with Shark Drake and Terabyte, um, they're just kind of those quick exceeds. If you have all three wind up sharks, you can go into one or more one of them. Uh, other than that, they're pretty all straightforward. Um, really, anything else? Um, this is, of course, my little like OTK kind of idea. Um, it's just having a string and a brass gen because doubles attacks and then he can make everybody attack twice in the battle phase, so kind of dead. Um, realistically though, I think I might actually drop down my gen by one, just for another water exceeds because I just, uh, I want a little bit more. Just so I can have a little bit more targets for that, um, Aquamir cycle. Uh, other than that guys, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, tell me what you guys think, and definitely see you around. Bye.